Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a special situation here. Follow along with me. It's NBA Futures. Just understand, I do not believe that either the Milwaukee Bucks or the Indiana Pacers make it out of the Eastern Conference, right? I firmly believe that you have a Goliath in the room, the Boston Celtics, right? So just keep that in mind. That's how I see it. But that's just the start of our betting strategy, right? What we want to do is to set it up so that we have a free swing on Boston. In other words, we want to set it up where I can take Boston later and have both sides of the play. I can actually bet more on Boston because I know if the roof caves in, if lightning strikes, if Boston gets upset, then I'm going to make big money on the opponent too. So right now you have a special situation. Again, I don't believe Milwaukee or Indiana comes out of the East. Please understand that. But I'm going to take what the casino gives me. If I can pick up greater than 20 to 1 odds right here, cheaply, why wouldn't I do so? So let's target right now the first round series between a weakened Milwaukee Bucks team. Right? Understand, Giannis has a calf injury. Right? Think about how bad that is against the Pacers, who have one of the best offenses in the entire league. Folks, they're going to be running up and down the court. Not only that, the Pacers have one of the worst defenses in the entire league. So the Bucks are going to want to run up and down the court. How is Giannis going to do that with a bad calf? Let's go one step further. You know, the Bucks have a history. The Bucks won a title recently. That history involves Drew Holiday. Folks, he's gone. You go from having a defensively blessed Drew Holiday, he's one of the best defenders in the league, to having a defensively challenged Dame Stoudemire. Right, folks, the Bucks have no history with Dame Stoudemire. Right, this is Dame in the playoffs with the Bucks. They barely know each other. I know he's played all regular season. That's different. Now it's the postseason. It's even worse than that, right? The headliner, Giannis, is not 100%. So people are going to expect Dame to step up. Right, folks? Dame doesn't have a lot of experience in high-powered playoff series. So I need for folks to look at Indiana. I'm not saying they get by Boston. Understand, I want to win money even before the Eastern Conference Finals. I think, personally, that Indiana beats Milwaukee here. Right? Right now, you can get the... Indiana Pacers at 25 to 1 odds to win not the NBA but just the Eastern Conference. Right folks, it's bet a dollar to win 25. Right? Understand what that means. If I bet a dollar here, in other words, I'm getting maximum leverage. If I bet a dollar on Indy, and this is as the playoffs are going on, right? The Lakers have already won a playoff game, right? They call it the play-in. It's postseason, right? The Lakers just beat the uh, Pelicans, right? Understand, tonight, Chicago won, right? Golden State's already been eliminated. The playoffs are ongoing right now. And you mean to tell me that this late in the season, they're offering me the Pacers at 25 to 1. 
to win the Eastern Conference. And let's be clear, too. The Eastern Conference has some teams that aren't ready for the playoffs. Right? The Knicks are without John Randall. Right? Where are the Knicks going to go? I understand the Knicks are one of the higher-seeded teams. That should let you know that there are going to be some upsets this playoff season. Right? So here's the game plan. Here's what I'm advocating in this video. Right? And again, I don't expect the Bucks or the Pacers to come out of the Eastern Conference. But sprinkle a little bit right here at 25 to 1. Folks, you're getting compensated for the risk on Indy to win it all. Excuse me, to win the Eastern Conference. Right? Indy to win the East. 25 to 1. If they get by the Milwaukee Bucks, then in the next round of the playoffs, folks, you have play money. You can bet against them. Right? I'm not saying bet all 25 expected winning dollars or possible winning dollars. What I'm saying is you have money to play with. So in the next round, you can say, you know what? Let me throw eight on the other side. Keep in mind, you're only out one dollar. So you say, let me throw eight bucks on the other side. Let's say the team that the Pacers play is favored two to one. So let's say I throw out eight with the chance of winning four dollars on a series prop. Right, folks, just understand what that means. If the Pacers follow suit, if they lose in the round after they beat the Bucks, you've just off an initial $1 outlay, right? You would have won on the $8 part of the bet. If the other team's a minus 200, you would win $4 off that. Right, think it through. So you're literally quadrupling your money. Now let's say the roof caves in. Let's say the Pacers are better than expected. Let's say the Pacers actually, after beating the Bucks, beat the team in the next round of the playoffs. Well, understand, you got 25 to 1. You've only given away, right, $8 of that 25. So you can hedge further. In other words, you have further opportunities to reduce the risk. So right here, I think you need to be the one person standing in line at the casino who wants the Indiana Pacers. Everyone else is thinking about who's actually going to win the Eastern Conference. Everyone knows that the Pacers don't have the defense. You don't care about any of that. Your schematic, they're about to give you 25 to 1. You understand in the regular season, the Pacers played the Bucs several times. I'm not even going to give you the head-to-head -head record. I want you to look it up. The Pacers won the regular season series. They match up well against the Bucs. And now you're dealing with a Buck team without its best player, Giannis, the former MVP. Right? And so let's stop kidding ourselves. This is an opportunity to get 25 to 1 odds. Again, Pacers simply to win the East. Right? But remember, you have to be diligent. Understand, too, the lay of the land is going to change after the first game. If the Bucks come out and beat the Pacers the first game of their series, here's where we're really going to get crazy. This 25 to 1 might jump to 30 to 1. At that point, you have to say, okay, well, why don't I sprinkle a little bit more on the Pacers? Right? If they can win game two, believe it or not, they would grab home court advantage in the series. Right? Think it through. Also, the risk is minimal because you're getting 25 to 1 odds right now. If the Pacers were to lose game one, you're going to get higher odds than that. Right, the moment of truth is going to come. If the Pacers face a team like Boston or some team like that, and then you realize that, wow, you know, you yourself think Boston's going to come out of the East. 
but now you can put extra money on Boston because you're fully covered on the pacer side of the play. And you were able to be fully covered for a pittance because you got at least 25 to 1 odds. So take a hard look right here on the Pacers to win the Eastern Conference. I like these odds. You're being compensated for the risk. Right? The bet's not really about whether the Pacers win the Eastern Conference. The bet's really about whether the Pacers get by the Bucks, and you can then hedge in the following round of the playoffs. And, of course, the Pacers won the regular season series against the Bucks, and, of course, the Bucks are missing Giannis, and with Dame Stoudemire in the lineup, they don't have the defense they had when Drew Holiday was a Milwaukee Bucks staple. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Let me also make another point too, now that Philly has won their play-in game. Folks, this team is live, right? Understand, the numbers for them on the season are decent, and of course, Embiid, who won the MVP last year, shouldn't have, but he won the MVP last year. Let's just say he was one of the better players in the league last year. Right? Just understand, Joel Embiid is in a great position with a team that has some horses in a conference where some major teams, the Knicks, for example, are missing major pieces. Take a look at those odds as well. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.